Consider a particle moving with constant speed such that its acceleration of constant magnitude is always perpendicular to its velocity. A. It is moving in a straight line. B. It is moving in a circle. C. It is moving in a parabola. Or D. None of the above is definitely true all of the time. Now, the first answer choice that should jump out at you is B. Because in this section, we have been discussing our motion as we move in a circle. So now if we return to this idea of moving around in a circle. So here's our path that we're going to follow, the circular path here. Now, while we're moving along it, say this is our object here at the top and say we're moving in the counterclockwise direction so our velocity is directed to the left. So this is our velocity for object here. Now we understand that in order to actually have this object moving around in the circular path we have to apply we've attached our little ball to say a string and we're spinning it. Now we know that the there's going to be a force acting on this ball to keep it where it is. That's due to the tension in the string holding it into a place there. So, knowing that, we also show that there is an acceleration toward the center of the circle. In this case, it's due because of the string and the ball. So now this acceleration is pointing straight down toward the center and we know that the velocity is directed to the left. This, as we can see, forms a right angle between the velocity and the acceleration. So the two of them are perpendicular. There's a 90 degrees of separation between the acceleration and the velocity. Now, if we choose it at some other arbitrary point along its path here, we would find that its velocity is directed this in this direction. And now if we look at the direction of its acceleration, once again, we see that it forms a right angle. So they're perpendicular. And if we again were to choose, say, another point, say here, we would get the same situation. Where here's our velocity, directed in this direction, and our acceleration will be toward the center, once again, perpendicular. So from here we can see that the only path that we know of that is which a particle is moving with constant speed such that its acceleration of constant magnitude is always perpendicular to its velocity would be answer choice B is moving in a circle.